I'm one of the attorneys uh, in the case. I, yes, I've been representing uh, T.I. for several years. Okay. Uh, yes, and I'm an attorney along with Steve Sadow and uh, Ed Garland. Okay. Okay, yes. All right, thank you. My name is Ed Garland, uh -huh. and I'm one of his attorneys, along with Steve Sadow, Dwight Thomas. Also, my partner, Don Samuel, will be joining the defense team. That'll make four principal and lawyers. He Why don't you all ask we're not we're not going to make a public statement other than that we appreciate the, the judge's consideration of our uh, position and uh, we hope that uh, when we're back here a week from now um, he will con continue to give us the same fair consideration Gee, the judge seemed really conflicted about all this uh, because he's a man who is taking his job very seriously and there are positions are on each side that uh, are conflicting so he's doing what he's supposed to do that's all we can ask Will, will Mr. Harris be able to meet the conditions other than the monitoring that the judge had set? We are hopeful that he can, yes. What is Mr. Harris's state of mind um, up to today's hearing? He wants to move forward in this case. He would uh, like to gain his release if we can meet the conditions that the court imposes. And, uh, and then we'll deal with the defense uh, once we've gotten him out, if we are fortunate. But is he upset to spend an extra week in jail? He's not upset at all. He understands the process and respects what the court is doing. Can What's going to happen next Friday? What are the requirements he has to meet? I'm sorry? What are the requirements he has to meet? Well, right now, the requirements are not set, and I'm not going to uh, prejudge what uh, Judge Baverman chooses to do. Can Was you your hardest hurdle today his criminal record? I think uh, our hurdle is defending this case in the nature of the way it has been presented and uh, obviously fine, his criminal history is uh, has posed a problem as the court recognized uh, but he also has a lot of good things that he's done which is what the judge recognized as well Can you, you talk about those good things? Those things no i don't i don't the, think at this point we're going to talk about any particulars do i you seem to have a good rapport with him what have you told him in the days in these past few days i know that you well i can't disclose any attorney client privileged inf information between uh, myself and mr harris the uh, only thing I can tell you, he's upbeat, he's very confident that the legal system will work in his favor, and uh, he's looking forward to, you know, meeting all these matters next Friday. What do you think about the judge's idea of saying the dichotomy of someone who does so much good, and then yet there's somebody who's still struggling? Well, that's just a fact. The judge found that to be a fact. I want to make it clear that we are not, we're not at this time going to comment on the facts surrounding the case or the facts that the judge is considering. This judge has not made a decision. He has left him in custody without bond, and it, we come back to find out what his final conclusion is, and he set criteria for us to meet before he'll make a decision. So this matter is under consideration by the court, and no one knows what the outcome is going to be. This independent monitor that you guys will be selecting, is this the sticking point? And, and who will you get? How will you get somebody to be there all this time? This is something that can be accomplished, but clearly this judge, if he grants bond, is going to set very high standards of who the monitor is and what his conduct is and how this would operate. Have you ever and had if, a monitor before like this in any case? Uh, no. Mr. Garland, you asked family members to stand, and then pretty much the top four asked of Atlantic and Warner Music Group. What does that say about your client, his reputation in this community? It simply shows he has great support on his family and among the people who deal with him on a daily basis. But we don't want to go into any further details at and this have time. have you ever proposed type of restrictions you propose for bond today have you ever proposed anything like that for any other client well we've had steve and i and dwight have had a lot of different clients made a lot of different proposals we feel this one is the most complete and uh, the most functional under the circumstances we face level of confidence in terms of can this be accomplished it sounded like it was an awful lot uh, we feel it can be accomplished but it all is going to be determined by the judge. He has not said he is granting a bond. He has not said he is denying a bond ultimately. And this is when you wait and see what the judge decides. Wait, how would the prosecution say one to two days for this case? You said it'll be a medium case. They said one to two days, Steve, I think at this point, 
it's just too early to comment on uh, what their expectations are versus our own expectations. There's a lot more to this case than has been reported in the media. Yeah, does, it, does, does T.I. want a message out to the community? Does he want anybody to know anything? I know Dwight, I talked to you before. You said he wanted the folks to know this too. She'll pass. Anything else? We're not making any public statements uh, concerning that at this time.